Here in Milwaukee, Milwaukee school leaders are talking candidly and emotionally about what needs to be done. Corrine Zell sat in on the discussion and found agreement on where things need to start. Corrine. WTMJ Radio organized the community conversation, securing our schools. John Mercure and Melissa Barclay brought up a range of topics for school leaders, students, and a security expert to discuss. Superintendents representing Milwaukee, Menominee Falls, and the West Dallas, West Milwaukee districts open up about school security, all in agreement about their stance on arming teachers with guns. To introduce a gun into a school, again, I, I think that would be a grave mistake. Guns don't belong in schools. That wouldn't be a recommendation I would advance. Former Milwaukee police officer and head of MPS security, Peter Pachowski, is now the executive director of Wisconsin School Safety Coordinators Association. He was first against arming teachers, but now thinks it's something to consider. The fact of the matter is a school staff person is more likely to end a school shooting than the police are. As for school walkouts, Menominee Falls and West Dallas, West Milwaukee will let students leave with parents' permission. Dr. Marty Lexman also exploring alternative ideas. Do we give opportunities for students to make posters to send to the high school when students come back? Or do, or we're considering if you want to contact um, your elected rep representatives and express yourself differently, here's how you can do that. An emotional Dr. Darian Driver says she stands by her students on this. It is a civil right for our students to be safe. You're emotional. And when I, I am. And why it is difficult for me to just say um, that they should not do this. When I talk to my parents and they talk about attending segregated schools and how they had to make these choices at times. These students, one at Rufus King in Milwaukee, the other at Menominee Falls, agree with these leaders. Preventing school shootings is beyond what metal detectors can catch. It always comes back to mental health. And I think the the ongoing work, um, it really falls on us in schools just to make sure every young person is connected. The need for funding was brought up, but all three superintendents would likely put it towards tackling mental health. Stephen Carroll. Corrine, thank you very much.